We have had a lot of big projects that we have been working on so far this year. But in this vlog, we're going to talk about our biggest project that we've been working on in 2018. When you get finished watching this vlog, make sure you, in the, make sure you put in the comment section below. Let us know about some of the big projects that you have been working on, whether it be on your farm, your homestead, or just in your life and family in general. Let us know. But for the past two, two and a half years, we have been washing and packaging all of our farm produce inside our house. And let me tell you, this has been a very, very inefficient way to do it. From the hassle of having to clean up and sanitize the area, each time that we do it, it's been a pain in the butt and just a waste of time. So, I have had a goal of eventually wanting to have an official wash and package station. But it wasn't until this past spring we came across a fantastic deal for a walk-in cooler. And in the past, we've actually had a refrigerator in our bedroom, an extra refrigerator to <laughs> hold our produce and keep it cool for our customers. And then the past year, year and a half or two, we, had, we upgraded, we built, uh, basically constructed a walk-in cooler using a cool bot to keep it cool. However, as I discussed in some of our big mistakes, in one of our big mistakes vlog, it was a terrible place to put it. So I decided that we're going to go more official and we went with a commercial grade walk-in cooler that we purchased. My father-in-law, your poppy, has been very gracious enough to allow us to set up a farm here on his property, this property that has been used for a number of years for his business. Yes, he has. Thank you, poppy. And those of you who are out there who have land and you're not using it and it can be used to farm, connect with another farmer. Connect with a farmer, someone who is going to utilize the land. Because I've heard recently that the farming population is only one and a half percent of the total population in our country. So we need more farmers, especially those who are doing things in a sustainable way to provide local produce and that is great for the environment. Well back to the project there we are working on. In the process of planning out where we're going to set up our cooler, we decided that we also wanted to go with an official wash station and we decided to use the overhang again thankful to my father-in-law for allowing us to use this the building that is the overhead uh, the building that is the pump for our our well that where we get our water from there's also an overhang on it so we decided that we we're going to pour concrete to set up the walk-in cooler on and also pour concrete under the overhang for our official wash and pack station so mommy and I got to work yep we began clearing out all the poison ivy, poison ivy which was about as thick as my wrist here, moving all the block and poison ivy out of the way. It took a number of days to clear out all the poison ivy and block that was behind the building. And if you were to combine those days together, it was equivalent to about a week or two worth of work. And in that process, I got poison ivy probably about uh, three to five times. And poison ivy is not my friend. After Lacey and I cleared out all the poison ivy in block, we had to excavate and get rid of some of the extra dirt that was in the area because our property is on a slope. So to make sure that we would have a level ground all the way around the pump house for our wash station and then our area where the walk-in cooler was, or is going to be, we needed to excavate some of the dirt. So Lacey got to work on the skid steer once again. <laughs> Yep, Poppy is the most skilled person I have seen on a skid steer and tractor.
mentioned before that I've been trying not to do too much on the farm because it's not a one-man show we're a team so in this project Lacey was the main one I delegated to her to kind of organize things with my father-in-law as well as trying to make sure the things that we needed to have that she would do it and she would just let me know when it came time to my time to do something and did it and she did a fantastic job coordinating this project didn't she yep so after we, the area got prepped, all the soil got excavated out. Next, you all, we help. We all work together, I think, on this and in putting up the forms. You remember what the forms are used for? No. The forms basically go around the area that you're actually going to pour the concrete into, so that way the concrete actually stays where you want it to stay and doesn't just fall out. <laughs> the form set up there was just a few more finer details that needed to be put in place before it was time to pour the concrete so there was an area around the column that needed to be chiseled out so I worked on that with Ben very thankful that Ben came along because it was concrete day and there were some limbs of some trees that needed to be trimmed out so that way the concrete truck could pull in easily so that way we could pour the concrete efficiently yep. And then there was this one project that Ben helped me with where we actually had to dig out a trench for the pipe that's going to be used to, as a drain where the walk-in cooler will be. Let me tell you, that dirt was hard. We didn't get a lot of footage of this, but that dirt was hard. Ben and I were sweating and we were working hard. And then came the time when the concrete truck came. <laughs> what did you think when you saw that big concrete truck coming? It was cool. Yep, while the concrete truck was backing in and we were setting up to get started on work the kids were hanging out with Nene watching and they just love watching that didn't you yeah we were so close that's the closest I've ever been to a concrete truck that was pretty cool and Poppy had his team with him that day and they were pretty efficient yep. so they have done this job I think a, a time or two wouldn't you say Probably a thousand times yeah they've done it <laughs> quite a few times so I just basically stood out of the way and got them what they needed because these guys were pretty skilled at what they do. Yep. I have learned that there's a lot of things you can do on your homestead that are do it yourself. But sometimes it's best to have the professionals come in and do what they need to do. Yeah. And when we started pouring the concrete, we start at the back side of the building where the walk-in cooler is going to be. Forward, we next moved into the overhang where our wash and pack station is going to be. concrete was poured there was just a little area where we were short on concrete so we're gonna have to come back to that another time but next the guys began finishing the concrete and brushing it and it was just neat seeing them it was neat seeing them throughout the whole process 
it was just kind of like an art how they were working with the concrete and then the time came to finish it and they were brushing the concrete because you don't want the concrete to be slick without brushing the concrete to finish it uh, you get water on that surface of that concrete and it could be slick so having the brush come just kind of roughs up the concrete right on the top so that way there it avoids any type of water where you could slip and fall or just gives you a little bit more traction so that was pretty much a long day wasn't it yeah getting everything all the final touches ready for the concrete to come then pouring the concrete working with the concrete then finishing up i think we were all kind of pooped yep so next we just watched and waited for the concrete to dry and then the next day we all came onto the concrete and enjoyed it and just loved seeing the work that we put into it all the prep work everything seeing all come together for us to be able to stand on even surface and hard ground now <laughs> yep and you and josiah actually no 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 it was you and micah who were dancing on the concrete together right yep and there was actually this one shot where you and Micah were tackling Josiah together. <laughs> it sure looks like it in this picture here. <laughs> now that all the concrete is poured and dried, I can't wait to set up and begin using it. But you'll just have to stay tuned for that. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. Grow on. <laughs> Around and you stumble in the dark. You kept pushing on, but then you went too far. When your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost, everything. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below, even if it's just to say, hey. Also, make sure you don't miss any of our new videos. So subscribe and sign up to receive notifications each time we release a new video. Also, you may want to check out these videos right here. And also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time.